southwest monsoon derives its name from this current hello ladies and gentlemen your captain speaking from flight deck my name is captain surender singh welcome aboard the plane talking sit back relax and enjoy your journey so yesterday's class we saw pre monsoon two months of april and may the sun comes above the equator the four phenomena low pressure area over central india lu and andi over west northwest india kalbesakhi is northwestern in the eastern sector and cyclonic storm in bay of bengal and arabian sea now coming to the southwest monsoon in mass and front we saw we have equatorial low and both either side of the equator where the winds above the equator they are northeasterly and below the equator they are southeasterly this is where the winds from both the hemisphere they meet it is called intertropical convergence zone this is also referred as thermal equator as the sun comes above the equator so another hemisphere will have more heating so this itcz moves up as the sun goes in southern hemisphere this itcz goes down so this whole itcz intertropical convergence zone it is thermal equator because it depends upon the heating which hemisphere is getting more heated up indian context this is also called trough of monsoon or simply axis of monsoon which is relevant for us we saw sun going around we saw yesterday april and may now the sun is going above the equator so as it is going above the equator this itcz also shifts above the equator so these are the four months of southwest monsoon from june to september so from june to september if you see roughly from here to 23rd september equinox so in this region earth is here so sun is moving up this itcz is also moving up and itcz is a zone of convergence because what happens when winds are coming from both hemispheres and where they are meeting convergence means they are converging they are coming from here and they are coming from here which side they will go they will move upward and they also give discontinuity in the atmosphere discontinuity means you have wind direction wind direction from opposite direction so if you view from side if this is the equator you have winds coming from northern hemisphere and winds coming from southern hemisphere both they meet and then they rise up giving the convection in this region convective activity convective means vertical development unstable only thing is as the sun goes down this itcz goes down as the sun go comes above the equator now it will move up more heating and this whole itcz moves up now the interesting part of this of southwest monsoon if you see so this zone is always associated with winds below equator they are which direction south easterly so as the sun comes up this itcz will start moving up now this whole thing moves up itcz this is let's say geographical equator and now this is a thermal equator or itcz i'm drawing with the white color now this itcz moves up sun is going above the equator in northern hemisphere winds above this itcz they are northeasterly and the winds which were coming below this was southeasterly there is no correlative force we have seen correlative force at equator is zero sin zero is zero now as it moves up there is not much of change but as it goes 5 to 10 degree above the equator what will happen there will be change in correlative force so winds which were 
direction was south easterly now because of movement of this itcz this will become south westerly it is full of moisture discontinuity unstable condition and this also brings monsoon over india because india you already seen nagpur is about 25 bangalore hyderabad between 10 to 15 degree and trivandrum if you go it is just teaching about 5 degree north so this southwesterly current it affects india and that's what brings rainy season southwest monsoon derives its name from this current now as this itcz moves upward there is a change in coriolis force at equator wind direction generally remains same but as it comes up the direction changes so this movement of itcz itcz is shown by two parallel lines on synoptic charts or the pressure charts in simple words so itcz is shown with this two parallel line and black dashes below this itcz wind direction was south westerly and now there is a change in coriolis force and it acquires westerly component and it comes over india as southwest monsoon which we call it as rainy season from the month of june to september we have seen in the solar system the rotation of earth around the sun everything is fixed so if everything goes fine then by sort of 31st of may or 1st of june this axis of monsoon or trough of monsoon reaches peninsular india india or coastal kerala by 30th of may or 1st of june that's what it reaches here now the sun is moving up by 7th of june it comes over mumbai coast onset of monsoon the seasonal pressure pattern during this season because heating continues to take place we have seen in this month in the month of june so there is a low pressure area which is formed due to heating over the northwest india that's where the low pressure area is formed by 1st of july this axis reaches its northmost position it goes through this low pressure area then foothills of himalayas and it goes to the head bay or the bay of bengal so this tentative date is 1st of july so theoretically by 1st of july the entire india is considered under influence of monsoon so that is a progression of or onset of southwest monsoon this southwesterly current this gives maximum maximum rainfall in this region this is which which region western ghats absolutely right so in this western ghats or rather west of western ghats it gives maximum rainfall this region you have this western ghats it goes like this this is the area where you will have because of this southwest monsoon maximum rainfall that's why mumbai konkan in this region you have every day continuous rainfall unlike in north india if you are from this part konkan or mumbai you have a rainfall every day we will see it doesn't happen like this in north india so the maximum rainfall india in general receives 80% of rainfall during this season why because the elevation of this terrain corresponds to about 10000 plus feet and 10 to 15000 feet and the height of this or the axis of monsoon 
that also is up to about 15,000 feet. So that's why this is the area where you have maximum rainfall. We have hills here also. Anyone knows which are those hills? Nilgiris, yeah, you're right. Nilgiris Hill, Eastern Peninsula. This is Eastern Peninsula or Coastal Tamil Nadu. This is the Tamil Coastal Tamil Nadu. This is considered rain shadow area or they call it rain sheltered area. There is hardly any rainfall during this southwest monsoon in this region. You will find it will always be humid, cloudy, but there is hardly any rainfall. This is rain shadow because of this terrain. Rain shadow or rain shelter area. Least rainfall during this season is eastern peninsula or the coastal Tamil Nadu region. So the maximum rainfall, minimum rainfall. Now the southeasterly current as it is, it gives rainfall this part and over central India average or the rainfall this side reduces or the eastern side of western Ghat reduces. Maximum is on the western side, eastern side this rainfall is reduced. As this southwesterly current is moving upward, it becomes dry by the time it reaches Udaipur. Udaipur is somewhere here. That's what is Udaipur. So you have Mount Abu in this region, correct? Rajasthan, Gujarat. So by the time it is coming here to Udaipur, it becomes dry. So there is no rainfall over north, west, north or eastern India because of this southwesterly current. The southwesterly current gives you rainfall in this region. So then how do we have a rainfall here? The normal position or the pressure pattern during this season is low pressure area, the trough going eastward and then going into Bay of Bengal and this lies in the foothills of Himalayas. This is the normal or northmost position of this axis of monsoon. So at that time when this trough is in foothills of Himalaya, all the rainfall is restricted in this region, basically north of the trough. Nepal, Tibet, part of China, you have maximum rainfall here. There is no rainfall here. Now at this position, this is the normal position. Northmost position is foothills of Himalaya. Now the rainfall in this part, whatever is remaining, is caused due to formation of not sorry, low pressure area or depression. Low pressure, you know, low pressure depression, deep depression, cyclonic strong. So a stronger low pressure area. Okay, when the wind velocity is, we already seen those values. More than 16 knots, correct, low pressure 16 to 27, that was the odd figure. So, when it is in those regions, a low pressure or depression forms here, that makes changes in this position of, this is transitional, normally they are about 3 to 4 in a month during this monsoon month. Now, when this forms here, this axis is pulled down, when it is pulled down, that causes rainfall over the entire North India. And the wind pattern also over North India and eastern part of the country changes to easterly. If you are in Delhi, you look at the runway. Normally you will find 28, 29 and when the axis or the low pressure area forms, this axis is pulled down, that is the time you have chances of rainfall because now this wind pattern becomes easterly and that will cause the rainfall over entire. So this is like about average. Now they have reduced, they say about 3 to 4 uh, low pressure area forming is in Bay of Bengal. So every time it forms, there will be a rain. So that's why rain in this part of country, it is not continuous unlike here because of southwest monsoon. I don't know if you hear those old folk songs. Savan and all those related to Bihar, you'll find they use the term Purvaya. Purvaya, that the winds which blow from east, that when the Purvaya, even those people knew that the wind pattern will change to easterly, that's the time there'll be rainfall here, means monsoon is active. As this ITCZ goes up, when this decays, 
there will be no road rainfall here all the rainfall is in you'll find even above uttarakhand and nepal tibet region everything is restricted there every time there is a depression or low pressure area forms that is active monsoon northmost position is break monsoon these are the two terms which are used break during break monsoon the axis passes through the foothills and going to the bay of bengal all the rainfall is in northern part north of this monsoon axis so whenever this low pressure area is not there what will happen you will have break monsoon it becomes hot and humid in this part every time you have a low pressure depression forming here wind pattern will change and this is your active monsoon another important phenomena during this season is something called <coughs> tropical easterly jet stream so this is jet stream we have a separate topic in your syllabus so you will see so this is formed between 10 degree north to 15 degree north 10 degree north is i told you uh, bangalore 15 is hyderabad so in this region it is found at a height of about 40 to 45000 feet it is strong easterly winds during this season if you are flying from chennai to let's say bangkok or chennai to singapore during all the while you will find strong headwinds and if you are coming from there you will have tailwinds so important features during this season is onset of monsoon the winds which are below the equator they are south easterly as the sun comes in northern hemisphere itcz moves up thermal equator moves up as it crosses there is a change in coriolis force wind direction becomes southeasterly to southwesterly and that's what is that brings southwest monsoon over india the tentative date of arrival in the Penins southern peninsula is uh, it is 30th of may or 1st june by 7th june it is reaches this is the normal onset of monsoon by 7th june and by 1st of july entire india is under influence of monsoon the seasonal pressure pattern during this season is a low pressure area over northwest india and a trough extending eastward and going through gangetic west bengal and, and then finally in head bay this is the northmost position and this is also position which is referred as break monsoon condition when break monsoon condition exists there is no rainfall over north northwest and eastern india all the rainfall is restricted into the hills the revival of monsoon in this region is dependent on formation of low pressure or depression in bay of bengal monthly during this season is about 3 to 4 whenever this depression or low pressure forms this axis of monsoon is pulled downward wind pattern changes and this easterly winds bring rainfall over this part of the country the south westerly current gives maximum rainfall over western ghats because of orography of that area the elevation is 10 to 15000 feet which corresponds to the monsoon current because of this hilly terrain eastern peninsula or coastal tamil nadu come in rain sheltered area or rain shadow area there is hardly any rainfall during this season we oh, have tropical easterly jet stream between height of 40 to 45000 feet so tropical easterly jet stream is found between 40 to 45000 feet between latitude of 10 degree north to 15 degree north that is between bangalore and hyderabad abhim this andaman nicobar clear on this so that is your southwest monsoon the withdrawal also takes place in stages by september what happens the sun starts going down so as the sun starts going down heating also starts going down thermal equator itcz starts also moving down so withdrawal of monsoon also takes place first it is in the westward direction and then it goes in south direction so by end of september 
the axis of monsoon goes south of India. Clear on this? Please copy this. See you after the break. This is your captain speaking.